Hey YouTube, I'm Zero Five Six Two here, and this is gonna be an uh, individual video of my leopard geckos. I did make one already, but um, it wasn't on my good camera. It was on my iPhone Four, and I couldn't zoom in, and it was only like that. So that's annoying. I watched it just now, and I was like, "That's retarded." So I'm gonna do it on my good camera, and yeah. So um, yeah. So, and I went to the Reptile Expo, my first one, on Sunday, yeah, Sunday, it's Tuesday today, um, and I got three new lizards, three, if you want to see the video for them, it'll be on the same time as this, so check that out, but, yeah, so, here they are, here's my new tank, no one has seen this yet, it is a 25 gallon terrarium, nice lid, they can't get out of this. Well, they can't even climb up the wall, so. But, uh, yeah, it's a big old tank. It's called the nighttime. Blue bulb, 75 watt. Daytime. Red bulb, 75 watt. And I picked that setup up at the expo, the heat lamp and the bulb. It's way cheaper. And I picked the sand up at the expo. It was way cheaper. Also, I think it was, like, 9 bucks. And at my local pet store, it was 16 or 15 so... Saved like seven bucks almost so but this is the tank so it has you know, one hide that I bought just a little ramp through another hide that's like a basking spot also little hide under there hide under there and right there is a basking spot water dish fake plants mm, rocks decor decor fake plants um, my moist bo hide box I actually got to spray that right now speaking of that but you just open the lid like that. And yeah. Here's one of my squirt bottles. This is the one that I use just for in the tank. I like to keep it very moist. I usually spray it every other day. It usually stays so moist. So, But I usually spray the tank. I'm not going to do it right now because I'm going to show you my leopard geckos. But this is a new tank with a water dish. Not basking spot, aka hide, and I will give them give them out. And I'll show you my new leopard geckos. Oh, I just said what it is. I got two. Oh, I'll just say it. I got a uh, three new leopard geckos, and they're all one to two months, and yeah, so they're just juveniles at this point. So yeah. Sorry about the glare, but I'll just take them out for you guys. But yeah, check in for that video. They're like so cute. They're like the size of his tail right now. Maybe, yeah, probably even smaller. Yeah, if I compare them, they're smaller than his tail. And that's not very big. So, yeah. I'm not sure the sex of any of them, but anyways. This is my male, normal leopard gecko. He's got some really, for a normal, he's pretty cool. Uh, he's got purple on him, too. He's got purple right there, there, and there. Three spots of purple. Um, he's not a carrot tail, but he's a male. He's a, he eats fine, but he only eats what he needs compared to my female. My female will just keep eating and eating and eating. Like, I feed them usually three soup worms or three crickets each, so... It depends what it is. I'll th feed them three of it. So he will eat like three or sometimes even two because he'll be full. But my female, God, she she just like eats, 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 eats. Like she doesn't even care. She'll like she's almost obese. Like she she'll just keep eating for like forever. She's she's not fat, but she's pregnant right now. So she, and I'm pretty sure she is fertile. So the eggs are gonna be coming sometime soon. So that is exciting. More babies. And I'm going to show you her. Let me just put my mail over here. And then she's getting ready to lay because she is digging lots of holes. Like as you see right there. There's a hole that was dug by someone and that was her. That special someone. So... I didn't even check on the egg laying box today. No, it's not laying right there. My male just keeps trying to run off the bed. And his name is Iggy. Iggy the gecko. So I'm just going to go ahead and get her out. She's a super hypo tangerine carrot tail. 
And this is a real super hypo tangerine, everybody. Uh, so everybody, this is the real super hypo tangerine carrot tail. See the carrot tail on there? So I've seen people on YouTube be like, oh, this is my super hypo tangerine carrot tail. And it's just like something like that. And that's a normal. But, like, I don't know. <laughs> like, literally, I, can't, I don't know their name off the top of my head. But they had a gecko just like this. And he was like, oh, this is my uh, tangerine carrot tail. It wasn't, so I don't know. But she is fertile. That's why she is not walking very much. I'll show you the comparison in them. One's huge. Yeah, you see my female is huge and look at their tails. The tail's a lot bigger on one of them. So yeah, right there. Tail's a lot bigger and the body's a lot bigger. He's a lot smaller, but she is pregnant, so right there, that's a good one. So yeah, she is a female. Um yeah, so my male just keeps running away, but this is her. And they're both uh, turning two years old in uh, doo -doo -doo, January. Yeah. Oh, no, December. Sorry. They're both, they're both born in December. They're not from the same clutch. I bought them from two different people. This was my first gecko. And I bought her not shortly after. Off of some girl I got. Believe it or not, I got this one for $10. This Super Hypo Tangerine for $10 carrot tail. For $10. And I got him with a 10 gallon and a bunch of supplies for 100 I believe. Yeah, that 10 gallon. And heat lamp, heat pad, and hides and everything else for 100 bucks. So, not a bad deal. I got all my stuff for cheap off of Kijiji. If you live in Canada, go on that. Check it out. Yeah. There's my tangerine. She's real nice colors. It's like all yellow. And there's my male. Trying to run away. But, um, yeah, I'm gonna put them back in their setup. Put this back over there. There it goes. Sorry about that. Need to move something. So yeah, see, there's my tangerine running away, and my male running away. I'll put my tangerine back first. She is pregnant, like I said, so she is walking kind of slow. These eggs should be fertile. And just to tell you guys, she has laid eggs before, but they, unfortunately, were not fertile. She's laid already two clutches, I believe. Yeah, two clutches, but they were not fertile. Um, yeah, her, I think the first clutch was fertile, but I didn't have an incubator at the time, so. But I'm not really sure neither of them hatched. But I know the second clutch was not fertile because, like, a couple, a couple weeks after, they were just like slugs, like they deflated, like yeah, so. But, I'm gonna put him back. My female's just basking it up. So yeah, but that's an individual video for you. Comment, rate, and subscribe, and tune in for my new geckos. I'm making that video right after this, so yeah, comment, rate, and subscribe.